Well, that was more Mr. Dan Tam Raymel, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, July 6, 2021, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash entertainment report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Enter Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Ryan Reynolds has read aloud Maurice Sendick's classic picture book, Where the Wild Things Are, for the BBC's CB's um, Children's Network. The actor said as he kicked off his virtual appearance, which will premiere on July 16th, well, hello, I'm Ryan, and I can't be with you in the CB's house at the moment, but I really want to read you a bedtime story, so here I am all the way from the other side of the world in Canada. After reading the book, he told the young viewers, sometimes even the wildest creatures need to settle down with the people they love and get ready for sleep. Who knows what amazing adventures you'll go on in your dreams tonight. Good night, wild things, and sleep tight. Other celebrities who have read bedtime stories on the British Channel included Tom Hardy, Chris Evans, Regine Page, Richard Armitage, Felicity Jones, David Schwimmer, Alicia Dixon, Eddie Redmayne, Orlando Bloom, Elton John, and Dolly Parton. Reynolds is known for his work in the Deadpool franchise and his vocal performance in the animated movie Turbo. He's married to actress Blake Lively, and they're the parents of three young children. Oscar-winning actress Julie Roberts posted an Instagram photo of her with her husband, cinematographer Danny Motor, uh, to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Roberts uh, captioned Sunday's casual beach photo of her embracing Motor, 19 years, just getting started. The post, which also includes red, white, and blue hearts, has already gotten more than 600,000 likes. Among those wishing the couple well was actress Rita Wilson. Uh, she commented, happy, happy anniversary, got to celebrate big on 20th. Roberts and Moder uh, married in 2002, the parents of three teenage children. Kush Jumbo says that playing a mother searching for her son's killer on the AMC drama The Beast Must Die out on Monday was the toughest role she's ever played. Jumbo said in the Television Critics Association Zoom panel, I feel like I was pushed to my very limit on this job. I think it's the most challenging shot I've ever been on for so many reasons. Jumbo plays Francis, whose son was killed in a hit-and-run crash in the Isle of Wight. London detective Nigel Strangeways, played by Billy Howell, has uh, just transferred to Wright and taken over the case. Frances conducts her own investigation, calling rare repair shops to find the person who worked on the vehicle that matches the description of the one that killed her son. She ultimately discovers the identity of the driver, George Radity, played by Jared Harris, by befriending a model who was his passenger. Jumbo said that subsequent episodes will find her doing stunts and performing scenes in extreme conditions. The 35-year-old actress said that her dramatic roles on The Good Wife, The Good Fight, and Vera never were the, was this physical. Jumbo says, I never swam in the sea, let alone walk on the bottom of it. I don't stand in the freezing cold and get pelted with rain, and I don't hang off the edge of the cliffs. All this stuff scares me. The Beast Must Die is adapted from the 1938 novel by Cecil Day Lewis under the pen name Nicholas Blake. British Box uh, produced the adaptation and aired in 2020. AMC acquired the series for U.S. distribution in January. Jumbo said that the adaptation by Gabby Chippe uh, went into details in its it, this, uh, depiction of Francis' grief. Jumbo says the scale on which Francis was operating was really going to go from 0 to 100. I was drawn towards it emotionally. The mother of two, of a two-year-old son herself, Jumbo says that she could identify with Francis' passion for justice. Jumbo said the series will explore how a vigilante pursue changes Francis. Jumbo asked rhetorically, what happens to a person when they really are able to go off-road and decide how they're going to seek justice in that situation? Jumbo says she also had to train physically for situations in which Francis puts herself as she pursues George. Despite having played tough detectives and lawyers, Jumbo said all of these roles are stretched for her. Jumbo says people think of me as quite uh, kind of like a tough person who deals with the dark things on television. 
Actually, I'm a bit of a wuss. The Beast Must Die premieres Monday on AMC Plus and on July 12th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on AMC. Richard Donner, who directed classic films such as The Omen, Superman, The Goonies, Lady Hawk, and Lethal Weapon, has died at the age of 91. His wife, producer Lauren Schiller uh, Donner, confirmed that the New York native's death to deadline Monday, while his production company broke the sad news to Variety. The cause of death has not been disclosed. Donner's other movie credits include Superman 2, Inside Moves, The Toy, Scrooge, Lethal Weapon 2, Lethal Weapon 3, Lethal Weapon 4, Maverick, Conspiracy Theory, Assassins, Timeline, and 16 Blocks. He was also the executive producer on The Lost Boys and the Free Willy and X-Men franchise. He and Schiller Donner have been, had been married since 1985. Filmmaker Kevin Smith was one of the first celebrities to mourn Donner's death on Monday. Uh, Smith tweeted, Richard Donner made the devil a child in the omen, invented the modern day comic book movie with Superman, and reinvented the buddy cop movie with Lethal Weapon. I got to meet with him last year about a project. Guy was a natural born storyteller. Thanks for all the flicks, Dick. Sean Astin, Goonies co-star, said Richard Donner had the biggest boomingest voice you could ever imagine. He commanded attention and he laughed like no man has ever laughed before. Dick was so much fun. What I perceived in him as a 12-year-old kid is that he cared. I love how much he cared. And director Edgar Wright posted, Richard Donner's big heart and effervescent charm shunned in his movies through the remarkable performances of his cast is no means feat. You remember all the characters in Superman, Lethal Weapon, The Goonies, and more because Donner knew how to capture that magic on screen. Donner was 91. And finally, music superstars and the voice coaches Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton have exchanged wedding vows at their Oklahoma home, multiple media reports says. People.com and usmagazine.com said Monday that they confirmed Stefani and Shelton tied the knot Saturday at, at about eight months after they announced their engagement. The New York Post published photos Sunday of dressed up guests arriving at the small ceremony at a chapel that the couple, who have been together since 2015, had built on their estate. Stefani confirmed last month that her family had thrown her a bridal shower. Shelton was previously married to country singer Miranda Lambert. Stefani filed for divorce from musician Gavin Rosdale, her husband of 14 years, in 2015. She and Rosdale are the parents of sons Kingston, Zuma, and Apollo. And as your entertainment report for Tuesday, July 6, 2021, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.